What's up everybody, producer Steve here. This episode has had a little bit of audio issues. My apologies on that. Uh, we did uh, manage to save the predictions for the full gear this weekend. However, this weekend we are also at Saratoga Comic Con. So we're going to be doing a lot of content for Wrestling With The Business and the rest of the channel there as well. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, producer Steve... All right, so let's do some predictions for Full Gear this Saturday. Um, I think there are nine matches total so far. Now, is this the official first ever Full Gear? No. no. Full is gear. it always in November? It's one of their originals, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Yep. Um, so, there's a pre-show match. Or is it the buy-in? Zero, zero hour, that's it. A zero-hour match. Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. MJF and an undetermined partner are defending the titles against the guns. I'm think I'm, the story is the partner is likely going to be Samoa Joe and he's going to get a future world title shot after that. But I don't know. That hasn't been confirmed yet. So who are you picking? If I wanted to clean things up, this is a classic. So MGF had the title with who again? Adam Cole, Adam who was Cole. out on injury. I'm looking at Adam Page. I'm trying to think. I know it's not Adam Page. I, I always get those Adams confused. Um, and he's out for a while, obviously, with injury. Yep, a few more months. So I think at this point they're trying to get rid of that storyline, right? You think so? It's It was the hottest storyline in the company, by far. Yeah, but can MJF, can they live up to that hype with someone different? I mean, Adam, I mean, he, Adam Cole clearly made that storyline great with MJF. You take one half out of the equation, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to bring the same success. Yeah. And you throw in Samoa Joe. But MJF is still the top storyline by far. MJF alone. Yeah. So you're saying anyone who's with MJF, that storyline's going to succeed. I think if given the opportunity, MJF will keep it going as long as he can. And I think he's been doing a good job so far. It, it I is. Mean, I mean, you watch more of it than I do. I mean, so if you think if you're telling me that it's going well, then don't change it. It's. I mean, it'll depend on how much longer Adam Cole is going to be out, because him r wrestling two matches on every show is is going to get old quick. But so I mean, far, I, so good. If I'm looking at it from just like like I am, I guess I'm looking at it from the outside, you know, one guy, you know, one guy who probably shouldn't be battling for the titles because he has the world championship. Yep. And they obviously did this whole thing because of the relationship between. Adam Cole and, and and how they you know and they lose one I would say cut our losses get the title off of him give it to the guns and let them move on to a different storyline like, that's how I would look at it from the outside but if you're saying MJF is doing very well what the hell I'll keep it with MJF okay yeah that's who I'm picking too I think he's gonna keep it and uh, face Smojo maybe at World's End at the end of the year all right next one. Trios match. Your buddy Sting, Darby Allen, your other buddy Adam Copeland. They are going up against Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, Nick Wayne. Oh, I always wanted to enact the bold statement thing. <laughs> um, but I gotta use that for like big big things. I have I have a suspicion here, Matt. Okay. Has there been any has there been any timeline on Sting's retirement? Yep, his last match is in February at the pay per view. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen here. I think what's going to happen here is Darby Allen's going to screw this up. And I think he's going to I think he's going to attack Sting. I mean this rivalry's got to start somewhere. Like we've talked about this before. Who's going to and who's going to be Sting's last match? I don't think it's to be someone like Ric Flair or, or or Christian or Edge. I think it Darby's a young guy, a young coming. You know, he kind of fought, his mentor's always been Sting. Am I wrong in that saying that? Yep. Since so the I think it's only fitting that he Guy both wearing white masks are the ones that battle it out in his last match. I think that's fitting. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more. So I think it'd be. I think Darby Allen, Darby Allen would be honored to do it. And I think Sting would be honored for it to be his last match with him. I gotta imagine. Mm -hmm. Um. So if that's the case, it's got to start somewhere. We're already halfway through November, almost end of November. Um, a crazy match like this, three v three. Um, I think Darby Allen takes out Sting, and then it leads Adam Copeland to battle Christian 
Hmm. And I'm going to go with Christian Cage gets the pin over Adam. Wow. By funny circumstances. I don't think it's a clean pin. Sure, of course. I mean, because obviously. Because he's a heel. Adam Cole just returned. He's not going to lose his first match. So I'm going against. I want to I want to note that. I'm going against like my number one rule. Like when a returning guy comes, they don't lose their first match. So like really, Adam Copeland should be winning this match just by default. He's had a couple matches already, but oh, you mean they pay per view? Yeah, has he had? He had has, it's his first pay per view, right? He showed up on a pay per view, right? Yeah, but this is his first pay per view. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I I think I think this I think this Darby Allen and the Sting storyline starts now. Okay. I'm going for Sting's team. I think the only match he's going to lose is against Darby at his retirement. All right. AEW Women's Championship. Hikaru Shida versus Timeless Tony Storm. This one I don't know much about, so I'm just going to go Tony Storm. Okay. <laughs> she is a big fan favorite now. Her new gimmick is going over big with the crowd. Whole She's doing a whole glamorous silent film movie star type deal, and fans are loving it. I'm not crazy about it, but. Um, you're picking Tony. You know, they haven't really been doing much with Sheeta since she got the belt back. Yeah, I'm going Tony too. All right. I'm making I'm making Matt really think here. He can't lose to me in the AEW uh <laughs> predictions. He's really gotta think about I'm throwing out some wild cards. You have nothing to do with my picks. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to win this now, and the belt won't be on yeah, the line. I, I, That's how it's going to go. Did I not offer it before the show? You did. I did say, you know, the belt should you be did. on the line. And we it's already really... picked Survivor Series, though. So, All right, Texas Death Match. Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. I've always been a Adam Page fan. So I'm going to go with Adam Page. Okay. I'm going with Swerve. I don't know much about Swerve. You didn't see him in his WWE days? Who was he in WWE? Uh, Swerve Scott. Hit, hit row. Oh, I guess he wasn't on the main roster for very long. No. He got he was in one of those firing mass firings a couple oh, years ago. I don't remember that. Maybe if I saw a picture I would I don't remember them. Okay. International Championship. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. I don't like John Moxley. I'm going Orange Cassidy. I think he has a lot more heat going on right now anyway. Am I wrong on that, Cassidy? Uh no, he's one of the one of the faves. No, I mean like he. I mean, I, I he like he like, he's getting a lot of attention. I said I, where I I referenced it the wrong way. Um, I don't know. I think he's doing all right. So, I mean, when he has the title, he's he's been killing it every week. Um, Moxley beat him a couple months ago, then immediately got injured, and then the belt bounced around for a bit and ended up back on Cassidy. Uh, How long do you know? think John Moxley has without a title? I don't know. Now you're convincing me that he's going to win this and get the title back. Oh, John Moxley? Yeah. Yep, I'm changing my pick. I think he's going to get the title back. <laughs> That's who I wanted to but, pick but the whole time. But on a side note, though, when, you, when, you, when we're talking, you know, dysfunction at AEW, John Moxley, how long do you think he has without let's – say he, let's say he goes another year and a half without a title. Mm-hmm. You think he's going to want to say at AEW? I think so. I don't think it's about the titles with him. You don't think so? No. His whole reason for leaving WWE. See, you and Jeremy think very differently than I do. Yeah, we do. I think these guys <laughs> want the titles. And when they're not getting that, I mean. I, got... I mean, he had the title in WWE shortly yeah. before he left. But not, long, not for long. Not for long. Because he, he, he would rather have the creative freedom. He'd rather be able to wrestle whoever he wants, whenever he wants. He likes going to Japan. He likes yeah. doing all the hardcore you, death you, matches. You, you, you and Jeremy and I think differently on that. I, I think, like, for me, it's not so much about the. I, I think to them, they want, they want the recognition, and these guys are top guys. You know, I mean, I th- think that was true. You know, in the eighties and nineties, when you know you were carrying a company or when you were getting mm-hmm. more money being the champion. Yeah, I don't think it's like that anymore. Yeah. I think they're just happy to. I didn't think out of freedom. all the people that I'm like seeing on there, there's, there's like I think I put John Moxley in the same category as like CM Punk, 
Well, you got to keep they're, they're loose cannons. They 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 can CM they Punk is a different time. story. Yeah, I know, but you know, I put I I, I guess my category is troublemakers, and John Moxley is not afraid to voice his opinion, and he's not afraid to not show up yeah. as needed. Like I don't know, I've always kind of put John Moxley as a slight, much smaller version of CM Punk. Hmm. Just just my opinion. Okay, interesting. Um, this match I don't get. <laughs> I, I don't understand what's going on here. The Golden Jets, Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega versus the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks have turned heel. Uh, they're not happy with Kenny for associating with Jericho because they have a common enemy in Don Callis. There's a bunch of interweaving storylines, which is nice. Um, but yeah, looks like the Elite is breaking up and the Young Bucks are facing Omega in this match. I'm going with Young Bucks. Okay. I think I am too. I always feel like the Young Bucks are losing for some bizarre reason, so I'm going to go with them to win one. Three-way match for the AEW TBS Championship. Chris Statlander, Julia Hart, and Sky Blue. She beat Red Velvet the other day, so... Sky Blue... Are they related somehow? Sky, Sky Blue, Blue and, and Red, Red Velvet, Velvet? Not even close. <laughs> like I kind of thought they're, they're, they're like former tag teams or something. Nope. They have, other than wrestling each other, they've had no interactions. Um, Can we admit that it's a little weird that they both like, they both kind of have like the same type of. <laughs> they both have colors in their names. That's weird. Sky blue and red velvet. <laughs> um, Julia Hart is the hottest woman in the company now. Everyone loves her. They sing her song when she comes out, and she's the heel. Um, but her improvement in the ring and her gimmick and everything else has been fantastic. Sky blue has been an up and comer over the past year or two. Chris Statlander beat Jade Cargill for the title and has kind of floundered. She's been in storylines but hasn't really done much. So okay, so you got to educate me here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's the AW's Women Championship, AW TBS Championship. Can that go from? Male it's the second. No, it's the secondary women's title. Oh, okay. like the TNT Championship right, 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 for the okay. men. Okay. Yep. Um, they just decided to make it in the women's division instead of the men's. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna go with Julie Hart. You convinced me on that. Okay. Now you're gonna backstab me and go with Chris, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm actually gonna go with Hart too. I think uh, the storyline has been Julia tried influencing and turning Sky, who has kind of been on the edge since then. I think she's gonna turn and not. She's gonna turn on Chris, but she's going to inadvertently help Julia win. I think is gonna be the story. All right. Tag team title match, four-way. Ricky Starks and Big Bill are the champions. <laughs> Their defense, Big Bill got a huge pop in Albany when, when they came. They Did loved he? him. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're facing FTR, Roosh and Jalistico, and Kings of the Black Throne, Malachi Black and Brody King. You don't know who any of these people You know FTR. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm i saying to myself, who comes up with these names? <laughs> Holy moly. This I'm gonna, is indies, man. I'm going to go I'm gonna go with the champs. Big Bill, Ricky okay. Starks. I, I think sometimes these matches are so chaotic that they don't change over belts. Um, who am I going to go for? I don't think FTR is going to get it back. I don't think Ingo Bernabe is going to get it. I think it would be down to Ricky Starks and Big Bill or House of Black. Yeah, just for the hell of it, I'm going to go with House of Black. Hmm. See what happens. And then the world title, MJF versus Jay White. Do we really need to talk about this? We know who's winning the belt. I don't know. Well, I hate that. No, I don't. <laughs> The I, I still will I, reveal himself. I still I still feel there's stuff going on with MJF and his contract, but I don't think he would drop the title to the one in December, if that's the case. This is an easy MJF. Okay. Yeah, I'm going with MJF too. If things are it's, going if things are going very well, you don't give up the title. This will be a good match though, and I I'm glad Jay White is finally in the world title picture. All right. So that's the card for for full gear. And uh, we did say the Divas title's on the line, right? I'm willing to put on the line if Jeremy, if Jeremy, Jeremy's got to sign off. 
All right, we'll see about that. We'll I see. I think we're gonna save it for Survivor Series. Save it a couple more weeks. I can I can last with it for another week or two. We'll see. So this is how did we do? This is the first time you and I are gonna show just the two of us, right? Yes, it is. How do we do? I, Comment below. So tell us what you thought. I think I held my own with the AEW stuff. Yeah, not bad. I don't mind talking about it and explaining things to you. That's fine. That's, uh, what I, that's what I said to Matt before I go, Matt, you're going to have to explain things to me about AEW <laughs> if I have any questions. Are you going to watch this pay-per-view with me, though? Mm, yeah, I, okay, look, no, no, I'll be honest. I have a tough... Okay. I'm, I'm a believer. Again, I'm old school. I don't like change. I like pay-per-views on Sunday nights. I'm not a big Friday night, Saturday night pay-per-view. I know, like, UFC does that. I mean, I don't know if it's... I, know, I, heard, I don't know if you heard about WWE and UFC... They're looking at doing, TKO is looking at doing WWE pay-per-views Friday night mm-hmm. followed by UFC on Saturday. Night, wow, that'll be different. Which is different. I, I, I'm not a big weekend. I mean, I, I know I know, I know, know success has gone a long way with UFC in that front, and it looks like AEW does that. I'm a big believer in Sunday night. They do it. Sunday night pay-per-view. Yeah. You know, you watch it, you know, and then you, you, have the, you have the show the next night. I remember staying up to 1130 watching the end of, Whatever pay per view, and like the next day, Monday Night Raw, baby, who coming out as a champ? Like you know, I like the Sunday nights. I'm not a big fan of it. So yeah. Again, I don't know why they do that because I mean, people have stuff to do in the weekends. Like it's tough. Like yeah. you put as much time as you put in watching all these shows all week long. Hell, give us our Saturday night, would you? <laughs> like <laughs> that reminded me, I forgot to put it on the outline. Collision is going up against oh, SmackDown right. okay. now. I saw that. I totally I, forgot about. I don't that. think they do. You know what the funny thing is? I don't think WWE does a single thing about it. No, I they don't, think don't care. So. I don't think. I mean, obviously, Collision's not going to get two million in ratings. But how many you think they might actually pull away from SmackDown? If anything, I think it's unchanged. Think so? I think you'll see the same amount of people watch SmackDown. I think you'll see the same amount of people watch Collision. I don't think it puts a dent in, in SmackDown. All right, we'll definitely have to talk about that next week then. On that note, like we said, comment, share, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Watch all the rest of our shows. And uh, if you keep watching, we'll keep wrestling with business.